Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Demo Street Fighter Alpha 3 for the PlayStation 1. Uh, now, Street Fighter Alpha was not a series I grew up with. Um, this game was actually my first uh, Street Fighter Alpha experience. I played it at a friend's house, and I just, I really, after that, I really needed to have it because I just, I really loved the system for this game. Um, it's probably my favorite version of Street Fighter. It might be, um, I don't know, Street Fighter 4 I like a lot too, but uh, Street Fighter Alpha is really cool. But there's a ton of characters. If you want to get into Street Fighter Alpha 3, I would recommend going for Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max on the PlayStation Portable. Only because it's got a couple extra characters that aren't in this version of the game. Um, sadly, my my version of Street Fighter Alpha Max 3 broke and is no longer playable. But uh, that's something I'm going to have to rectify soon. But uh, let's get into it. Let's take a look at some of the things. Now... Uh, as you play through the game, different modes will become available to you. Um, as you can see, I haven't unlocked everything yet, but basically this whole right side would be unavailable, uh, except uh, option mode, obviously. And there's many different options. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, let's see... Oops, what did I do? I don't even know. Uh, key config, that's what I want. Okay, good. So I've already set my commands the way I like them. Um, but you can adjust a bunch of different things. You can save, do all this kind of stuff. You can see how much time I've actually spent playing this game. 42 hours and 45 minutes. You know, just a little, just a little bit. Auto-saving can be a bit of a pain. You can turn that off, but, you know... What whatever. But anyway, there's um, a bunch of different modes, and each one will uh, tell you what it does. Final battle, challenge the final boss of the game. Survival, beat as many opponents as possible in this mode. Um, register your character make, to make them available for other modes. Basically, that's just um, uh, customizing. You know, um, I think it's just a color palette thing. Uh, World Tour, build up your character's power in this adventure mode. Practice your combos and attacks in this mode. And experience all the action of the arcade hit. So let's go ahead and start with arcade mode. Um, I forget how many characters are available. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. about 31 characters it looks like and these are just um, characters that I've entered in that I was using in, in another mode so you can actually add up to six more characters you'll see there's two views here um, but a lot of the um, familiar characters and a lot of the newer characters have been thrown together um, Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and use Sakura. Is this one of my favorite characters? Uh, different kinds of um, super meters that you could choose from. I usually use Aism. Sakura is a young girl who is fascinated by street fighting. What is a street fighter? She asked herself one day. And of course it shows you some moves that you can do. I want to see him and fight him again. I want his answer. She sets off on a journey of new meetings and old reunions. So as you can see, we got to go through 10 different fights. And here's Armika, one of the um, newer characters introduced in this game. And she's like some kind of wrestler character. She's cra uh, She's crazy. Her entrance, she comes in on an actual wrestling ring. It's awesome. But yeah, the 
Whoops. No, 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 no. Yeah, she's crazy. Um. So yeah, it's just this is one of the, like I said. Um, this is one of my favorite versions of of Street Fighter. Um, I think because it's flashier and and just more over the top than other versions of uh, of Street Fighter. Get out of here, oh my guy. But uh, you can see with the A is engaged, you can um, build it up over time. There's three levels to it. So, you know, you can use a super move as soon as you've built up the level one, but it won't be as, as powerful as if you use it if you're um, at uh, level two or level three. And of course, you can get different kinds of finishes. That was a super combo finish, and it shows you up at the top what kind of finish you got when you won the round. Of course, being a PlayStation One title, there's a lot of loading screens. I'll be late for class, but it's okay. A good fight is worth it. And the announcer's kind of, <laughs> you know, you gotta kind of deal with the announcer. You either you either like him or you hate him. And Rose is here. Yeah, I, I think another reason why I like Street Fighter Alpha th 3 so much is because every time you play it, it's a different experience. You fight different characters. You're not, um, you know, uh, stuck with the same characters over and over again. Whoops. Get back here. Caught her with that super move. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, other than what I've already mentioned, it's, it's a standard fighting game, um, just with a lot of, a lot of options for characters and, and stuff, and some of the different modes are, are kind of cool. I think I'll just finish this fight and we'll go take a look at some of the other modes. It's kind of too long to just play through an entire, um, round of arcade mode and at least that way I'll get to show off some other characters and I broke her um, her guard there you see below the highlight life meter there's a guard meter if you block too much that meter can get broken and you can um, you, it'll leave you open to attack. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot going on. It's not as um, in-depth as uh, more recent fighters. But, uh, you know, it's got enough in there to keep you busy. Akuma. Of course, each character has their own loading screen, and okay. So let's exit real quick. It's gonna save. Um, modes can get. I I forget how modes get unlocked. Um, a lot of it is just how much time you spent playing the game. Um, let's take a look at World Tour. So I'm going to start a new game. And of course, we start off by picking our character. Who do I want to play as? Um, yeah, here's the <laughs> here's the problem. It's like which which guy do you choose? I'm going to go ahead and pick. Uh, Let's go with Cammy. I haven't played with Cammy in a while. Okay, so you start off as level one, and you've got a um, choice of of where to go on the map. 
and um, we'll go ahead and, and go against Dan here and as you beat certain characters more places open up for you to go and you just level up And of course, everybody has their favorite characters. Um, my favorite is is Sakura. I like Ryu as well. Uh, I like Kami. Ken to a lesser extent. And that'll do it. Um, these stages, this one is just one round. So, whoever won that one. Be at the end, uh, you gain points, you gain experience. And we've beaten that stage, so let's go ahead and go to uh, USA to fight Balrog. Oh, he blocked it. Don't block it. And for those that aren't familiar with Street Fighter Alpha, this is kind of um, kind of a, a prequel to Street Fighter 2. Even though it, it, yeah, it came after Street Fighter 2, but you know, it's technically a peak. Uh, and here we go. So we leveled up. We leveled up our uh, ism. <laughs> which is our, our combo meter uh, we leveled our total level and we got um, auto guard uh, final stage 2 versus can simply defeat the opponent who is challenging you and, and different stages will have different requirements let me go ahead and set up um, again you can change which, uh, which type of ism you're getting you can see how much experience you have and how much you need to level up you can change the speed uh, I don't like having auto guard equipped. Um, that's because it can mess things up. But yeah, there's a lot of customization in in this mode, and you can take the character that you have in in this mode and set it in. Um, Arcade mode, so you can take your leveled up character with all these different abilities into um, into arcade mode with you. Wish I had not missed that um, super move. Ay 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 ay! Caught me with that. Sure, you can. Only thing about Kami is you gotta get close quarters. She doesn't really have a a long distance move, other than launching herself at an opponent. But you know, that still you can still really open yourself up like that. All right, that time I connected. Wah! And special finish, and he's down. So let's see what that did. USA clear. Prepare for next bout. So now that we cleared those things, some new places have opened up. USA versus Sodom. China versus Dan and you know more and more places will open up as you progress through the uh, through the mode I'm gonna go ahead and exit so we can see a couple other modes or at least one mode but yeah that's a really fun mode that I think that's the mode I spent the most time playing on 
Uh, let's just take a look at entry mode real quick. Load the player data. Oh, I get it. So. So these are the um, the slots in um, arcade mode that you can um, uh, you can set up. So as you can see, I've got a few different characters. I was playing as Akuma. And I was playing as Kami just now, or maybe that was an earlier version because I didn't save that game. But you can set those characters up if you want to use them in arcade mode. I think they go through to versus mode as well. Um, let's see. Final battle is about as obvious as, as it sounds. <laughs> you take a character in and you fight the, the final boss, which of course is M. Bison. So let's go with Ryu here. See if uh, see if we can do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and and venture to say that Bison's gonna destroy us here, which is okay. Whoop! Yep. Here we go. Get out of here, Bison! Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. We're screwed. Oh yeah, he caught me on that one. Go, go, go! Come on, Ryu! Okie dokie, come on. Ay, 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 ay. Whoops. Come on. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm screwed. Of course, I've said that before and pulled it off, but not this time. Yeah. So that's final battle. Oh, and we get the bad ending. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> Perish, you pathetic wretch. Oh my god. And this is just. I, I like the endings, they're just kind of cool. A lot of them are very much the same, though. And she just shot out a pink booger of death there. Wow. As long as I have the psycho drive in my hands, no one on earth will ever forget the name Shadowloo. And this this game was a, I think it was a little more story driven than previous Street Fighters, but you know it's a fighting game, so there's not that much story to be had in the game itself. There's a lot of of lore though. Like it's all fleshed out, it's just not fleshed out in in the games themselves. And finally let's take a look at survival mode. So survival mode you've got a bunch of different kinds of, of survivals you can do and here's a list of where I ranked. You know, arcade, you go through the whole arcade mode without dying. Original boss, battle ten guys, infinite battle, 
I'm kind of interested to see how I did in Infinite Battle. Infinity, 42. And then 1. Oh, but that wasn't me. Okay, so I've only done Infinity a couple of times. But yeah, so that's that's another mode. Lots of different options. Just a lot of different ways to play the same the same game. And a lot of customization with um, World Tour mode. A lot of different things. I do not know what that one mode is with the question marks. Obviously, I haven't unlocked it yet. But, um, you know, there's... The great thing about this version is there's a lot of replayability. You know, with with fighting games, you you I think the draw with fighting games is there you can play through them fairly quickly and be done with them. But you can keep coming back to this and if you want to play uh, like a longer session, maybe play World Tour if you want to do something quick, survival or arcade mode you know or even just final battle if you only got a few minutes to kill and you want to challenge yourself you know there's all different kinds of things it's a great game great addition to the uh, Street Fighter library definitely check it out like I said before check out the PSP version I don't know if all the same modes transferred over to the PSP version but it does have a couple extra characters um, in the game that is not in this version uh, but yeah, check it out. It's a great game. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Demo, and I will see you for the next one.